Welcome to Electro Online. What if the natural log includes a trick function? What do we do with that? Well, we do exactly the same thing as before. We write it as 1 over the function times the derivative of that function. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Our first example is y equals the natural log of the tangent of x. Find the derivative. So in this case, we can say that y prime is equal to 1 over that function, 1 over the tangent of x times the derivative of the tangent of x. Now, the derivative of the tangent of x is equal to the secant square of x, so this becomes equal to the secant square of x divided by the tangent of x. Now, this can be simplified by writing out what the secant and the tangents are. So, the secant would be 1 over the cosine, so this becomes 1 over the cosine square of x, and the tangent is the sine over the cosine, which means we get a sine here and a cosine in the numerator. Of course, this cosine cancels out one of those, so we end up with, this is equal to 1 over the cosine of x times the sine of x. And that would then be the derivative of our original function, the natural log of the tangent of x. Now we'll do the same again with the second example where we have the natural log of the cosine square of x times the sine of x. So again, we use the same principle that y prime is equal to, in this case, it's going to be 1 over the cosine square of x times the sine of x times the derivative of this. Now the derivative of that, we need to take into account the product rule and the chain rule. So here we have a product, so we take the first, cosine square of x times the derivative of the second, the derivative of sine is the cosine of x, plus the second, the sine of x, times the derivative of the first, now here we use a chain rule, so that would be 2 times the cosine of x to the first power, times the derivative of the cosine of x, which is the minus the sine of x, minus sine of x. There we go. All right, now we need to simplify that a little bit. So we have y prime is equal to 1 over the cosine square of x times the sine of x times what's inside the brackets here. So that would be the cosine cube of x minus 2 times the sine square of x times the cosine of x. All right, now we can factor out a cosine of x and cancel out one of these. So that means that y prime is equal to, in the numerator, when we factor out a cosine of x, we have left a cosine square of x minus the sine square of x. And in the denominator, we're going to end up with, the cosine will cancel out with the one in the numerator, so we have the cosine of x times the sine of x. And we can simplify that a little bit further, but, you know, that's good enough. What we're trying to do here is show how to take the derivative of that function, and that's how it's done.